All right, this is video four of the Everly Stock EMOD uh, tutorial series where we're walking through the EMOD system, what it is, starting with the mainframe and talking about packs. So we're on video four, where we're now gonna look at how the different packs can configure with each other. So in this last video, video three, we looked at each of the five packs that we're gonna talk about now. Now we're gonna talk about when you wanna run multiples of these packs. So you're not limited to just one. We are going to start by looking at the dry bag and the super spike duffel because they do uh, operate basically the same that they zip directly to the pack. Just to start this thing off and give you guys an idea of all the different ways these packs can integrate with each other, we're gonna start with the vapor and the dry bag. So here's a situation where you might be packing deep into the back country, you wanna keep things dry, or you just need additional volume. So let's say last year, I bought the EMOD system and I bought the Vapor 5000, which I'm showing here in the mainframe. And this year I need more volume than what I had last year. You don't have to go buy a brand new pack. This dry bag, for example, is $69 on the website. And by buying a $69 piece, you can double the amount of volume that you have. I can just take my Vapor and I'm simply going to start strapping my Vapor to my mainframe over my dry bag, so my dry bag is zipped on. If you're not sure how that works, go back and watch video three. I'm gonna start by compressing down one side. I don't need to do it too hard. Start on the second side. Now I can really start compressing it. So you now can see how I just took what was a 4,000 cubic inch dry bag took my vapor, dropped it on top, and I now have 9,000 cubic inches of volume, basically doubling my capacity just by adding one piece. So again, if last year I had the, the vapor and I need more capacity this year, rather than buying a whole new pack set up, I'm gonna add one single piece to this system. And I now really have three options at least. I have the option to run just the mainframe. I have the option to run the mainframe with the dry bag. I have the option to run the mainframe with the vapor, and I have the option to run the mainframe, vapor, and dry bag. So I correct myself, I have four options by adding one piece to the system. We're now gonna take a look at how to integrate the bat wings with some of these other pieces. So one thing I want you guys to remember is the super spike duffel, which you see sitting here, functions the same way as the dry bag. It zips directly on, and any of the combinations that you guys see me doing here with the dry bag will also work with the super spike duffel. I can't show every single one. There's literally dozens of combinations, but I want you guys to keep in mind, that because the EMOD system is so versatile, anything you guys see should work with the other pieces in the system. So the bat wings, I now have a couple options to show you guys how the bat wings work with the dry bag. So my first option is something that you guys saw similar, or something similar to what you guys saw in a previous video, but I'll show again. On the back side of the bat wings, you have these rows of molly webbing. And so what I'm doing here is I'm taking my compression strap that comes with my mainframe. I'm gonna run it around the outside of the dry bag. I'm gonna run it through these molly webbing tabs on the back of the bat wings. Buckle in on the other side, compress that down. I'm not gonna do all three again for the sake of time, but if I were to do all three, you could see how the bat wings will now simply sit on the outside of this system. If I wanted to also, I can unzip them so they're independent of each other and move them to either side if I don't like having it on the outside. The other thing that I can do here, it's about to get a little bit more complicated, but it's really cool option. Take these out. So I'm gonna take the molly webbing loops, or the compression shafts out of the molly webbing loops. I'm gonna go ahead and unzip my dry bag. So I now have my mainframe zippers free. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly zip on my bat wings. You guys probably heard me mention in another video, but the bat wings are ambidextrous, amid so there's not a left and right. Either one will go on either side. Again, because the system is so versatile, as long as it has zippers available, something else with zippers will zip to it. Okay, so if I was running just my bat wings, it would look something like that with them zipped together in the middle. I'm gonna open these up because I wanna run my dry bag with it. That exposes these zippers. The zippers on my dry bag are exposed. And like I said, as long as I have zippers, 
I can pair them up. So what I'm doing here is connecting my bat wings and my dry bag. Now you would then want to take your compression straps from your mainframe and run it around the outside of this system to keep all of this stuff from swinging around and being loose. You can see it's now pretty sturdy. I would want to lock that down a little bit more. If I don't do that though, I'm gonna have a lot of shake here. The other thing this does intentionally is leave space here. And that is because if I'm running this system to hunt, this isn't how I would insert it, but it does leave enough room for an elk quarter back here. So if I was hunting in this situation rather than sliding it in from the top, more realistically, what I would have done would be to lay it down flat, get my bat wings on there, zip in the one side of my dry bag, flip that over, zip that back together, and then I'm running my compression straps around the outside. A warning, because you have a dry bag, you have two bat wings, you have a elk quarter, I recommend if you wanna run it this way, get yourself the extension straps that are available on the website. If you don't wanna run it this way, the way that I showed where you run around the outside of the dry bag, and then run those compression straps through the molly webbing on the backside of the bat wings is a better way to do it. Having the extension straps is always a safe bet. From here on out, we're gonna talk about the bat wings and the vapor because the bat wings and the vapor are the two primary pieces of the system for hunting application. I wanna remind you guys, if you've been watching to this point, the super spike, even though I didn't show it doing anything, integrates into the system the same way that the dry bag did. So the same way that the dry bag can work with the bat wings, or work with the vapor, with the vapor piggybacking over it, or the bat wings on the outside of it. The Super Spike will do all of the same stuff. If you're still confused, please call customer service. There's too many configurations for me to show in this video. We're now gonna look at the vapor. The same way you just saw the dry bag zip into the middle of the bat wings. Again, because it has zippers, you can do the same thing with the vapor. So if I wanted to, I could take my vapor, zip it in on, both sides and then I can simply run my compression straps directly to the mainframe even though I'm not zipping it in on the other side for the sake of time you guys can see that's what that system would look like another option that I have instead of doing that would be to unzip my vapor from my bat wings also unzip my bat wings from the frame. I'm only gonna do the one side here. Basically what I would do is take the back side of my bat wings, which you guys should have seen this option a few different times now. The molly webbing there. I can run the strap from my vapor through the back of my bat wings. directly to the frame. And then when I tighten that down, the bat wing will just run on the side there. You can see it flop around a little bit because I only have one done. If you were to do the second and the third one as well, it'd be nice and compressed and tight there. So at this point, you guys have seen me using the bat wings and the vapor when I'm hauling an elk quarter. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the elk quarter and we're gonna look at this before we have anything on the ground. Maybe we're packing in. So I'm gonna take my bat wings, I'm gonna zip these back on. I'm gonna zip them together in the middle. And one option that I do have here is to buckle my vapor over my bat wings. This is what we call piggybacking. I'm gonna piggyback my vapor over my bat wings because those clip in on the sides. All I need to do is drop it on top of my bat wings go ahead and buckle that in. Yet another option for running bat wings and a vapor. And again, hang with me here guys, because there's a ton of options, which is what makes the EMOD system so cool. So if I want, I can zip just the vapor to the mainframe. And then I can pair the bat wings by running my vapor straps through the back of the bat wings, 
similar to how you saw it when I was packing out a quarter. Straight to the buckle. And when I do all three of those, that puts them on the side. Now where this is really cool is if you guys are packing in for a weekend or an overnight, you can pack camp in the vapor and then you can put just your hunting essentials into the bat wings so that when you get to camp, you just unzip the vapor, drop the vapor, zip the bat wings back together and you're gone with just a light essential kit for a day hunt. I would also point out, I'm only showing the Vapor 2500 here. The Vapor 5000 functions the exact same way. As long as it has buckles and as long as it has zippers, it'll function the same way as I'm showing with the Vapor here. If it only has zippers like the dry bag and the Super Spike duffel, those are a different configuration. The bat wings work with just about everything because as long as you have straps and or zippers, you can configure it in the bat wings. I know there's a ton of options here, guys. I know there's a ton of configurations. If you have any questions about what two products will work together, please call our customer service. The best I can do in this video is show you in real time how quickly you can interchange these different configurations and some of your best options for hunting, depending on what pieces you guys have. And don't hesitate to call our customer service department and ask them, will this work with this? And how does it work? I would love to be able to show you guys every single combination that you can make with the EMOD system, but it's just not possible. For every piece you add in, there's a bunch of new configurations. And what I wanted to do was show you guys in real time how quickly you can change from one configuration to another. My favorite, my personal favorite setup is the bat run bat wings and the Vapor. Whether it's the 2500 or the 5000, it gives you a ton of options for packing in camp and then uh, downgrading to a super lightweight system with just the bat wings. There's a million ways that you guys can run this. Don't be afraid to call customer service and ask them for help.